Project management is a skill in high demand, as many organizations opt to pull together an in-house team to fulfill a specific need instead of hiring a full-time project manager. The role of a project manager is to bring the project in on time, within budget and to an agreed quality standard. But how does project management differ from day-to-day -day management? The biggest difference is that a project has a limited lifetime, with a definite beginning and end, instead of being a continuous process. And while general management skills such as leadership, effective communication and problem solving are a required element of both, projects also present specific management problems, requiring special skills. So where do you start? Well, as project manager, you have to determine what needs to be achieved, ensure the project meets its objectives and predict as many of its problems as possible. Start by creating a project brief, a detailed written document that outlines the scope of the project, specifies the client's requirements and details how its success will be judged. The brief should also discuss the objectives. The business objectives will state the reason for undertaking the project, while the project objectives state the outcomes the project must achieve. In order to keep track of your progress, it's important to identify key milestones that will take place between the start and end of the project. The budget should also be clearly specified in the brief, having been agreed before any significant work takes place. What about potential problems? Most project failures are due to unforeseen issues that emerge too late for anything to be done. Therefore, it's important to identify potential issues and come up with solutions during the planning stages, taking advantage of the team's knowledge and experience in the process. The next step is to create the detailed plan which can be used to track progress and allocate tasks to team members. These tasks are identified by breaking down activities into distinct pieces of work, which are assigned to one or more people and completed to a set deadline. The plan can now be put into action. This involves initiating planned tasks, tracking progress and taking any necessary modifying actions if circumstances cause the plan to change. Regular progress reports, both from the team to the project manager and the project manager to the client, are a useful tool for staying on top of the project during this stage. So, what's next? The final step in the process is to conduct a project review. Consider what went well, what didn't, and what you could do differently next time. Try to see the review as a positive part of development, as it's an opportunity to learn from what you've done and is not about apportioning blame. Finally, ask yourself whether both the business and project objectives have been met. If the answer is yes, then the project can be considered a success. Remember, project management centers on the planning and control of everything involved in delivering the end result and is something everyone involved in the project should embrace, understand and execute.